Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. If you picked up your Hilton Head Monthly this month and your Golfer's Guide, our buddy Lance Hanlon, the Golfer's Guide here, uh, you saw this headline, The Rivalry Continues, Boys, and it actually is a rivalry, um, which um, we'll talk about here in a minute. Um, for those of you who have no idea what we're talking about, this is the Honors Cup. It's Hilton Head's version of the Ryder Cup, I would say, is probably a good way to put it. Great way to um, put it. it really is. O over, we, we have tournaments in our section, both amateur and professional tournaments. And anybody that plays amasses points. What we do at the end of the year is we take the top point getters from the amateur side against the top point getters from the pro side, and we have 12 on 12 Ryder, stup, Ryder Cup style event called the Honors Cup. This year, the co-captain is one of my new guests here, uh, John Patterson. John, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Dale. Uh, Dale, appreciate it. Good to yes. see you, buddy. And you are the director of marketing and sales at Chichesi Creek Club. It's Correct. Yeah, I've been there um, almost two years now. Really enjoying my time there. It's a great place to hang my head every day, and uh, uh, we've really enjoyed it. It's been a fun year this year. Well, it's an incredible place for those who haven't been there. What, what a what a nice it almost feels like a little retreat you know you're not even around this it these does. parts when you're out there it's yeah uh, it's different than than most of the golf clubs in the area it is. um ben crenshaw design core crenshaw design yeah um great caddy club we've got a great caddy program out we there sure do. um and it's uh the golf course was built in 99 but it feels like it's been there 100 years it's kind of a yeah. throwback it does yeah um old pushed up greens yep. and uh you know if you have had an opportunity to play a lot of core crenshaw stuff um, it really feels like that as you play the golf course. No so question. it's a fun day. It's an easy walk. Um, just a great experience. Well, speaking of easy walks, you're going to have these uh, 24 guys out to your club. You're the host club for the Honors Cup this year. We are. Um, We're very excited about that. Well, you guys have uh, uh, 12 horses against 12 stallions here. I mean, this, this <laughs> event um, used to be... The amateurs being the horses. I, I've been fortunate enough, uh, back when I actually could hit a golf ball straight, uh, to play in five of these. Right. And they're amazing events. They're really competitive. Uh, we like. I think I read your article in here. You, we we want to beat the crap out of each other. We really do. Pardon my expression. No, that's, but, that's what it's turned into. But afterwards, you know, you, you, you come in, you have a drink, you tell some stories, pat each other on the back. But this, we were talking about this. This started in 84. The amateurs won the first event. That's right. Then we went on a little drought. Big drought. 23 year drought. 23 years is a drought. <laughs> Big drought. Um, the amateurs didn't win their, le their next Honors Cup until 2008. I was actually on that team and then went on to win three in a row. That's right. So suddenly this went from sort of a ceremonial thing where a bunch of guys got together and played some golf and had some drinks to an actual competitive event. What do you guys, I mean, what do you make of that? Well, I would say that the correlation of the last few years is it's, it's probably been dictated by the lack of golf in which the golf professionals play yeah. versus the amount of golf the amateurs <laughs> now get to play. Uh, the, the, the days of the golf pro work. just playing golf is, are yeah. long gone, and, right. and I think that's maybe taken our toll for the good, though, because it's made it a little more competitive. And yeah. uh, it's real fun. I mean, last, last year, I believe we won by a half a point. So yeah, you know, and it they, came down to one of the last few matches on the golf yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. It did, it, it did, was, yeah. and and it's it's neat because exactly all the guys, all the guys, yeah. after you finish your match, you get out there and you're rooting your guys on. It's minus the crowd that that the the teams had at Medina. It's much like that. We all yeah. got there and we're kind of cheering on for shot for shot and rooting for our guys and. It can be nerve wracking. It is. It's it's yeah. fun. I mean, it's a little pressure. So well, it's it's a it's a it's a good. Uh, end of the year bonus for the guys that played good through through the summer through both the amateur events and our events. Absolutely. Well, I'd be remiss if we didn't give Bob Collar some credit. Bob is the director of the uh, Hilton Head Island Amateur Golf Association. Bob has captained uh, the last five or six teams and really put a lot of energy, time, and effort into to making this what it is. Right. There's a big dinner, I think, the night before we all get yep. together, and uh, you know the, the camaraderie is really cool, and there is a good spirit among the players. Um, I know you qualified. You've, you've actually had a really, we were talking about Todd White, you've had a good summer of uh, amateur golf yourself. I have, yeah. I've uh, been being a former uh, pro, you got your amateur status back. Uh, we mentioned you played in the, uh, the mid-am. Played in the mid-am this summer. I was, was fortunate to have the opportunity to travel a, bit, a little bit this summer. And, yeah, uh, and then got second in the Hilton Head amateur? Correct. And lost in a four-hole playoff. Lost in a playoff Ooh. to my buddy Rob right. Simmons, who's on, on the Honors Cup team this, this, uh, 
this coming up at the you end guys, of the month. But uh, you guys have been interesting. Good pair. friend, like member, to member to Chessie. There you go. And yeah, right. um, so we we had a, a great tournament and a great playoff to finish the Ultimate AM. It was it was a fun day. Well, who are some, who just not the whole team, but who are some of the other players that will be playing for the amateur side? Uh, well, you mentioned Bob, Rob Simmons, uh, Jordan Carpenter uh, won the match play event this summer. Uh, Jeff Wong was the low am in the Hilton Head Open. Yeah, yeah. Um, John Bartlett was uh, was a tournament winner, but he has actually turned professional and now uh, trying to get on tour right now. Interesting. Wow. So uh, Jim Ferguson, who's played for many, Ever. many years, yeah. lived in the area for a long time. Benji Getze, Jamie Manning, Trey Testino, um, J.D. Hoft, who sure. I think you've had yeah. on, yeah, we've uh, had on the show on. before. So... Um, the team's going to be strong this year. We're looking forward to that's it. A, that's a, we, we might be in the stallion uh, category. It's going to be a tough be match. You've got a few you know, stallions. You've got, got David got Rogers. David Rogers from Session, who's, who's our reigning player of the year and won, won two of our big events uh, this year. Mark Tomodowski, who's, oh, who's he's, he's always player. always a, a strong pro player. Cherokee. And yeah. pro Cherokee. Um, Doyle Rex <laughs> is on the team, but he's going to actually co-captain with me this year. He's got a little shoulder injury, but... Uh, we're going to be competitive, you know. I think. No, it'll keep you nice and relaxed. Yeah, a lot of the guys always try to find us, particularly this week leading up to the man, a few extra minutes there late in the day to hit a few balls. I so, bet uh, they do. Knock the rust off. We'll be, we'll be good to go. I'm going to coach them up, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I was on uh, two teams that were victorious two of the last three years, and that was nothing like it. We were actually doing the ole, 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 ole European chant because it's been <laughs> so long since we won. Felt like we had to rub it in your face a little bit. Uh, and, you know, it wouldn't be that fun if we didn't do a little trash talking. Uh, so it's all gonna, part of it. So I'm going to keep, I'm gonna try to keep these guys apart when we break. We've, we've got to go. I mean, it, I, again, these things go so fast. Great to see you. Thanks for having uh, me. I've known you a long time. Pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Uh, I, as always, great to see you guys. I'll be out there. What's the date? Uh, it's the 22nd. 22nd. We're, we're having dinner at the Creek. club the 21st, uh, 36 holes on the 22nd. Great. So if you want to come out and see some great festive golf uh, and some really good golfers with great ability, come out uh, to this event. It's a, it's a heck of a lot of fun. And I'm going to come out and watch and uh, talk a little junk. There you go. Hope gonna, to see you there. I'm going to wear my amateur, <laughs> amateur pride, all there right? You go. Guys, uh, that's all the time we have this week on Golf Weekly. Come and join us next week.